population estimate of force of. In The Martian, Mark Watney is a U.S. astronaut who has to survive alone on Mars after his crew leaves the planet without him, thinking he died in a storm that swept him away. Luckily, I'm a botanist. The botanist, played by Matt Damon, is not a typical Hollywood hero, but he is one of several role models in the film for aspiring scientists. Begin abort procedure. Another is Mars Mission Commander Melissa Lewis, played by Jessica Chastain. It's a performance that excites Costa Rican space enthusiast and student Montserrat Cordero, who appeared on hashtag #VOA via Skype. Jessica Chastain's character is amazing. We also have the computer programmer, who's also a woman. Like this is not what we tend to see. So, really excited to see this kind of thing. Hope to see a lot more of it. Cordero is a graduate of an international summer school run by the Foundation for International Space Education in Houston, Texas. Its director of educational programs told hashtag #VOA via Skype that the Martians' role models will have a positive influence. The more women we have involved in science, technology, and engineering and math, the better society we have, and the better we'll be able to accomplish those missions and do things like go to Mars. In the film, U.S. government space agency NASA tries to overcome great obstacles to bring Watney back to Earth. That's not just science fiction. The science and technology you see in the movie is based on real-life work by NASA, which acted as an advisor to the filmmakers. And the work being done here at NASA headquarters in Washington includes preparations for an actual manned mission to Mars. As part of that effort, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has been operating rovers to collect Martian soil samples. Speaking to hashtag #VOA via Skype, the laboratory's Mars engineering manager says his team needs diversity to succeed. People from who see the world from different angles to come in and bring their creative ideas with them to come here and to help us out. So, you know, this what we do here is really, in, in many respects, an international effort. NASA hopes the Martian will help that effort by inspiring young scientists everywhere to bring humans to Mars by the 2030s. I done the math. Checks out. Michael Lippin, VOA News, Washington. Bridge. Yes, sir. Get out. <laughs>